Kia ora and welcome to this series of short videos introducing you to individual placement and support, more commonly known as IPS. I'm Feline, I'm from WorkCounts and we offer practical training and support to organisations wanting to implement and deliver supported employment programmes. I really want to emphasise how important employment is to functional recovery of those with mental health and addictions. There are many types of vocational support services, however, IPS is distinctive. It is underpinned by eight core practice principles, and it's these principles that I want to briefly explore with you today. I think uh, it's fitting to start with a practice principle that resonates with me, and that's zero exclusion. This is where the individual's desire to work is the only criterion for them to access employment support. Their previous work history, their current mental health symptoms, any convictions or addiction issues does not impede their ability to access IPS support. If anything, those things are used to individually tailor support services for that person. And that's another principle, is individually tailored that means that the employment support is person-centred and the employment consultant will uh, focus on the skills, the interests and the strengths and previous experiences that the individual has had and even maybe explore some restrictions or limitations so that these things can be mitigated during the employment journey. Rapid job search. Now, IPS is an intensive support uh, model and rap rapid job search is basically 30 days after an individual is referred to an employment consultant, job search begins. And this job search should be focusing on another principle and that's competitive employment. Competitive employment is an ordinary job in the open labour market that pays minimum wage or above and is not set aside for those with disabilities. Financial guidance or benefits counselling. Now this ensures that the person understands any financial implications of accepting work and they can explore their continued um, entitlements benefits or allowances and not only that employment consultants will have a strong working relationship with work and income staff. Job development. Now this is when employment consultants actively engage with employers in the local community and spend time identifying, carving out and creating jobs or opportunities for the people that they represent. Another principle is ongoing support. So once somebody commences work, the employee and employer can access support from the employment consultant, and this can be ongoing. Lastly, employment and clinical support are integrated. So employment support services and mental health care and treatment is delivered in unison. It's a team approach and the individual has that wraparound support. Treatment plans consider employment aspirations and treatment is work focused and recovery orientated. Join us next time as we explore IPS and the impact on Les and his personal journey.